Alright, what's good YouTube? It's JoJo SMR here. So, I won, not one, but two of these uh, Phantom Nightmare sneak peek mats. I won two sneak peeks this past weekend at Strike One and at Lions Games. Uh, I played the Viking Snake Eye deck. Uh, this deck's crazy. Uh, no words. Like, I went 10-0. It didn't even feel fair just because, like, the, the deck's too mad. So, we'll get into it. Uh, I played three Snake Eye Ash, uh, two Populous. Two Populous, uh, one Oak. Uh, this one's really good. This one lets you play through Droll. Uh, this one lets you play uh, really well going second into boards to like help crack them. Uh, one Flame Burge. Uh, it's a brick, but you gotta play him. Uh, one Diabell Star. Uh, you can play more of this, to be honest. Two or three is like pretty good if you're having issues with bricking, but one's, five and, uh, one's fine, and I only own one QCR. And then for the Fire Kings, I play three Kirin. Amazing. One Garunix, one Ponix, and one Avata. Uh, to do some like anti Nibiru combos and you can make an Appaloosa and stuff like that and uh, this one's really good uh, Then for you know insert Yu-Gi-Oh's expensive mean three bonfire uh, Three wanted one original and then for the fire king spells. I play two island uh, One sink and one skyburn. I really like skyburn uh, just having like another search target of uh, Ponix is really good and can help you close out games uh, really good into some of your weirder matchups um, and this one's pretty solid. And then for hand traps, I played three Ash. Uh, I just played two Bell uh, for this weekend because there's a lot of lab at my locals, and uh, I think this one's also pretty decent versus Voiceless. You can hit that Dynamondo. Um, yeah, in general, like Bell's just pretty decent whatsoever. You can also uh, go spell the Flame Burge or Wanted, uh, which is decent. You can top deck this as your sixth card, it's also fine. Uh, three Droll. Uh, yeah, there's no introduction, it's Droll. Uh, Imperm, pretty good. And then one little spicy tech I tried out this weekend was Instant Fusion. So Instant is uh, pretty cool, because going first, you can make a Mud Dragon, and that can insulate some of your players from Valor and Imperm. Um, and then also going second, it sort of functions as like a bit of a board breaker, because you can into matchups like Rescue Ace, summon a Mud Dragon. You can against Purely, summon a Mud Dragon, and they can't target, they can't Noir Spin, they can't Beauty Negate. Um, and it just gives you like targeting protection. It's good going first, good going second. I just tried it out this weekend. It was pretty good to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I'll continue playing it, but it was just something I wanted to do an experiment with. And then the last card, three Super Poly. I just wanted to try it out. There's a lot of voiceless voice uh, at my locals and I played against and Labyrinth and uh, decent versus the mirror, like okay, paired with something else. But uh, I just tried out this non-engine lineup and it was pretty good. So that was the main deck. I think it was like 40 cards. So uh, yeah. The extra deck, I played uh, Link Rebo, uh, IP, SP, Dark, Heater, and Sunlight Wolf. These are all pretty much mandatory, and Appaloosa. Uh, I played the Zelantis and Raging Phoenix package for the OTK. Uh, Amblo Whale, which is really good. And then this card, which is going to break Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Promethean Princess. Uh, Shoutouts to Rafi for hooking me up with a QCR and, the, and whatever. Uh, this card's broken. There's no introduction that's needed. Uh, one Garunix, and I played the Mud Dragon. Uh, so that was my extra deck for this weekend. And then, oh, I also played, I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Yeah, sorry, I missed out. Uh, the Garura as well for the Super Poly. I was like, I was missing a 15th card. And then for my side deck, I played uh, just two Nibirus. Uh, pretty good into like rogue matchups. Harpy's Feather Duster and two Lightning Storm just to hit Floodgates, like Summon Limit and Dimension Fissure and whatever. Three Tactics, uh, good going first. Three sum, uh, Soul Release to hit the Mirror Match. Um, oh no, I did play against a few of the other locals, but yeah. Uh, Call by the Grave and three Cosmic Cyclone. And that was my side deck. So overall, the deck is amazing. Um, nothing really to be said. See you all at YCS Vegas and yeah, let's Oge. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.